And so it begins. Despite triple threats being every man for himself, history has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. A participant must be ready to endure double team attacks at any time. Beautiful technique. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Oof. Back in the ring now. DDT! Spiked him. Watch this. Oh! What a suplex. Harsh impact. Spinning kick to the gut. Boom! <laughs> Ooh. Cover here. Oh. Bell clap. Champ not looking good right now. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. The challenger's taking on some offense. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much oh. punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand very quickly. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. This might be it! Oh, my! Wow, <laughs> what a forearm! He can turn it on in a hurry. Oh, man. Beautiful technique. While Chris Jericho's father played in the NHL, Y2J's love outside WWE is music. For years, Chris Jericho's been the front man for the heavy metal band Fozzy. The band has toured the world and released seven albums since the year 2000. Jericho! Rely insult! Huh? And the champ kicks out. Not yet. Of all the things Chris Jericho does outside of the world of sports entertainment, the lead singer for Fozzy and the host of the smash hit talk. Oh, man. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. He's gonna Suicide dive. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Elias setting it up. Oh boy. Guys, can we take a second to appreciate the rising we've seen from Elias since he joined Monday Night Raw? Pretty good at NXT, but within months he's been earning main event matches and beating some of WWE's top veterans. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Michael excitedly pointed out Elias' resume, and I actually agree. He earned a spot in the Elimination Chamber, lasted almost a half hour in the War of Rumble, and even competed in Mixed Match Challenge. Well, the guy also earned victories over the likes of Dean Ambrose, Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, even John Cena. So as much as his music stinks, he's doing something right in the ring. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? A superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create interesting alliances, and the numbers game can become your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for it.
this, this is getting out of control. Finn Balor has seen better days. Boom! <laughs> Elias steady it up! Oh, boy! Look at Finn Balor making his move. 19-16! If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. He's got him covered. Wow, the ref got hit hard there. He may not get back up, Cole. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. A second time. 19-16. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Okay, there's a pin now. One, two, three. Balor retains the championship. Finn Balor retains the championship! That was just one of those matches that the men involved